Howard Finister is perhaps the most famous and self-taught artist of all time. Born with a message, Howard Finister did just that by creating some 46,000 pieces of work, opening the eyes of many others worldwide. Howard Finister was born in 1916 and lived in Alabama. He grew up with 13 siblings, many of which did not make it past early childhood. At the age of 16, he was called by the Lord to preach the gospel. In 1935, Finister married a woman named Pauline Freeman and had five children. Howard was a jack of all trades to his family. He often painted houses and repaired bicycles and lawnmowers. He did anything he could to support his family. After preaching for 40 years in Alabama, Georgia, and Tennessee, his preaching came to a demise when he realized that no one was listening to the word he had been preaching. He set forth to reach a congregation through a different aspect, painting. He began Paradise Gardens Park in Somerville, Georgia in 1961 to showcase his folk art. In 1976, a voice came to him while he was painting, which led him to create solely sacred art. The chapel was one of the world's first folk art churches with 16 sides. It was created for his belief and love for the Holy Word. Finister continued creating religious pieces throughout his career. This piece, Jesus Saves, was carved out of wood and painted with oil. It's a classic example of woodcutting style seen in many other pieces, such as the one entitled Angel. Later in his career, Howard had art showings all around the world, including the Smithsonian Institute, and has permanent displays at the Library of Congress and at the High Museum in Atlanta. He was also invited and accepted to be on the Johnny Carson Show, Good Morning America, and was even on the television broadcast in Canada, England, and Japan. Finster was so well known by his later years that REM and Talking Heads wanted him to paint their album covers. Because of this, he has been featured in magazines such as Time, Life, Southern Living, New York Times, Chicago Times, and People. Talking Heads was so highly decorative and unique that Rolling Stones magazine voted it as the album cover of the year. The Coca-Cola Company is one of Howard Finster's greatest fans, and Howard is one of their greatest fans. They commissioned him to paint an 8-foot Olympic Coke bottle to represent the United States Art Exhibit for the Olympics in 1996. In the same year, Turner Publishing commissioned Howard to paint illustrations for The Night Before Christmas and is available at the Finster Folk Art Gallery. This assignment brought this now 80-year-old artist back in touch with his childhood. The illustrations are visions of a previous time, filled with wonder from an eccentric world renowned folk artist. He dedicated the illustrations to all the children of the world, including the big ones. Howard Finster was commissioned once more in 1996 to paint a wooden box symbolizing the care package for the program's 50th anniversary. It was presented to President Bill Clinton on May 9th of 1996. He completed a painting to raise funds for the Habitat of Humanity and attended the annual convention in Atlanta where he signed many prints made from the painting. By the time of his death on October 22, 2001 of congestive heart failure, Finster had completed more than 46,000 pieces of art. His eccentric personality, prolific output, and popular acclaim guaranteed him a place as one of the most celebrated Southern self-taught artists of the 20th century.